Welcome back to more the beginning of Destiny, everybody. We are going to head right back in here into the Obelisk Blue Boys dorm. And we're gonna duel this circle of people that are just standing over here all like cool and whatever. I wanna be like these. I wanna be in your group. I wanna be cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm part of your group. This is so fun. This is literally what these people are doing. And like the whole day all right well I'm just gonna put the controller down this video is gonna be 35 minutes of me doing this okay there we go okay that's enough <laughs> that's enough uh, let's just do one of these losers here we go yeah they're all losers actually Sadina uh, okay master Sadina that's to Misawa it should be you? Well, f well why isn't it you? Because he's better than you? Why are you mad at him? Because he's better than you. The hell? Alright, we're gonna duel this guy first, and we got another five duelists after this. Um, So, we're not gonna do all these in this video, that's for sure, because this is way too many duels to do, and some of these might be difficult, so it's gonna take me longer than the usual, you know? But we'll see what happens. Let's see. Okay. Almighty Light? He has a light deck. Okay. Luminous Spark. That is a very creepy, like, background for the field spell. You just see the monster there. Who is this monster, actually? Like, is it Ryukishin or something? Ryukishin Power? I don't know who that is. I have no idea. Oh my god, you have a freaking battery man deck. If all battery man on your side of the field are in attack position, this card gains 1,000 attack for each. Plus to 500 from Luminous Spark. Oh my god. This could actually get pretty crazy very fast. We're going to summon Blind Little Oil Goblin and try to just go in there. Will it work? It worked. It actually worked. Okay, main phase 2. We're just going to set 1. We don't want to overcommit here. With the, you know... Heavy storm or something, but that would actually hurt you a lot too. Shining Angel, what the hell? Um, yeah, we gotta do this, because you're at 14 plus 5. Widespread Ruin. Are you serious? Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Jesus, man. Is it worth lightning vortexing that? I have no clue. Maybe not, actually. We're just gonna set. Set. And entering. Battery Man A. Okay, um, wait, who's attacking? I guess that's actually, that works out perfectly because I can just then kill, yeah. You attacked in the, in a very weird order for sure. Sometimes, like, usually the rule in, like, battle phases a lot of time is attack the monsters that you know you can for sure attack with less risk. So, in this state, if I'm the opponent, I want to make sure I attack with Soul of Purity and Light to Blind Lord Goblin first. Now, obviously, I would have probably Karma Cut to that, but he doesn't know that. But the point is, you do that because then, if you then attack a face down monster and it's something like a Man Eater Bug or like a Hain Hain or a Old Vindictive Magician, anything like that that can actually mess with another monster that hasn't attacked yet, you actually end up losing that resource before it can at least attack, which is a problem. So that's technically bad playing. Uh, you always want to make sure you attack with the ones you can first. The ones that you know for sure. Oh my god, I am so, I'm so doing this. I'm so doing this. I'm sorry, dude. Mobius, the Frost Monarch. Yes. We are destroying this. And we're destroying this too. Nope. What was the other one? Call of the Haunted? Did I, did I see that right? I think I saw a call. Yeah, it's Call of the Haunted. Alright, into the battle phase. You're at 1,000 attack. Yeah, so Battery Man Double A is a really... I don't know, like, it, it's basically an OTK card, but it's a really usually bad one. If you have three Battery Man Double A on your side of the field, they're each uh, 3,000 attack. So you can OTK the opponent for 9,000 damage. But that's a big, like, you know... Like, a big if. Because, like, how's that gonna happen, you know? It's, uh, very tricky. Okay, I'm gonna blow that up. 
Another Shining Angel. I'm glad I did that. That would have gotten you some, uh, some resources for sure. Swing in for 24. And turn. This deck is uh, pretty good, actually. It's pretty freaking good. Setting? Hmm. Light of Intervention? Hmm. I, I feel like you probably shouldn't have flipped that up. It's entirely possible that if you left that face down, it may have just set a monster and attacked with Mobius. Because they don't want to risk like a torrential tribute or something like that. But with that, I can just attack and swing for the game. 219. That's not bad, I guess. Alright, well, that's one guy down. Oh, that is a really long loading screen there. This is impossible. No, it's not. All right, who are you? Celia. Oh, like 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 one of the three bachelorettes in uh, a Wonderful Life. Celia, Muffy, and uh, was it Nami? Yep. And then in the special edition, Luminel was another one too. I don't know why I'm talking about Harvest Moon in the Yu-Gi-Oh video. Because I know my fan base is very split. Like, most of you watching this video right now, this Yu-Gi-Oh video, have, like, probably never seen a Harvest Moon Let's Play. You know, Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, all the farming games. And most people who watch my farming games probably have never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, like, any Yu-Gi-Oh video. It's a very split fan base. I also have people that are only into Final Fantasy, only into Pokemon, only into Metroidvanias. You know, like... It's crazy. But, in case you're wondering, it's actually, and I've talked about this before, but like, obviously if you look at my subscribers, you know, I'm at, uh, it's like over 43,000. But sometimes a lot of people wonder, well, I, well, like, hey, why does only this video get like 200 views, 300 views, you know? There's a lot of reasons for that, um, one of the reasons is because of what I just mentioned, the split fan base. Um, even though I have 43,000 subscribers, well, first of all, a good amount of those are you know, obviously like, dead accounts that don't even go anymore. I don't know what percentage that would be. So realistically, you can already cut that down to like maybe 30,000 or something, you know? 35,000 at best. Something like that. Um, but then, from that 30,000, let's say, like, a lot of people, like, they're not dead accounts, but they also don't necessarily watch, like, a lot. Like, I'm subscribed to channels that I never, like, watch the shit, which is why, like, I'm like, I don't know why I'm even subscribed to these channels, you know? Um, but... So, you know, you take people off, you know, you take a percentage off of that as well. I don't know how many people, of course. And then, you keep getting further and further. And then you start to see that, like, channels that have split fan bases, meaning very different genres and things, end up getting less views per video because some people are only interested in one type of video. So, if I'm getting only, like, you know, 200, you know, from this series, that means that usually almost all 200 of those people are not the same 200 viewers who watch my farming video, my next Harvest Moon Let's Play video, and vice versa. But if you have a channel like, just dedicate, like, if I made a channel just dedicated to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, which is something I actually threw in the comments, by the way. Oh, I can do this, by the way, because uh, you're at 12, but you're actually at 17 because of rising air current, so I can actually do this. This card is so annoying to deal with. Every time I battles, toss a coin, if you call it right, destroy the monsters, destroy the opponent's monsters with this, with this effect. It's a, it's like, a, it reminds me of Fairy Box. It's like the monster version of Fairy Box, kind of. It's so weird. We're, we're doing this. Yeah, so like I was saying, like, um, I threw the idea earlier, you know, like, I think of that's when it's been about a month ago, of making, like, only a, like, uh, like, only a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. You know, with only Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays and other Yu-Gi-Oh! content that I do. Like, the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings and so on and so forth, you know? Um... Wait, can I actually... that's 62... No, that wouldn't actually work, because then I would have to... Shit. No. Alright, that's fine. Um... I, I threw the, uh, that idea, but um, in general, you know, like, if you have a YouTube channel that's only Yu-Gi-Oh! content, you know, like, only Yu-Gi-Oh! and you have, let's say, 2,000 subscribers, and you upload a video, there's a pretty good chance a very high percentage of that 2,000 subscribers is actually going to watch your video. So, like, you'll probably get, like, maybe 1,500 views out of 2,000, which is really good. 
And that's because everybody who subscribes to that channel knows what they're subscribing to and they like all your content because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Now obviously you can get more specific with like subgenres, like maybe some people only like the unboxings of Yu-Gi-Oh! Some people only like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. Some people only like... A history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like how would I do that? Some people only like archetype reviews, which is stuff I've done before, you know? So like, there's a lot more specifics into that and... YouTube is crazy with views and stuff like that, with you know, like, what goes behind a channel, of course. Um, but hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I gave you a little bit of a, of a nice little explanation there, you know? The other thing too is that, um, and this is something about Let's Plays in general, but Let's Plays in YouTube began, oh my god, by this point it's been over 10 years ago when they first started. Uh, YouTube became prominent in like 06, 07 around there, and really within the year at following around 07 or 08 is when the first Let's Plays on YouTube were actually, like video Let's Plays, they used to be other forms of Let's Plays, I'm not going to talk about all that right now, but um, Let's Plays on YouTube at least were becoming a thing in like 07 or 08. Truly is your name? Oh my freaking god. Well that's cool, so each of these people has a different attribute deck, Light and Wind, so now I'm facing, who knows. Um, but Let's Play videos in general have overall, overall in general, declined um, over the years, and over the years I mean literally like the past 10 years. Like back in 2011 they were still really good, 2015 you know probably a little bit less, but they've declined over time. There's a lot of um, reasons as to why, and I've done some research into that, but I know that like a lot of people, like when they're playing a game, for themselves and they need help on something like a walkthrough thing a lot of people go on YouTube and they search specific things of a whole playthrough like for example let's say that I was doing a you know freaking okay this game for example you know so I'm doing this playthrough of a game and then there's a bunch of people like oh god it's Benchel box are you freaking kidding me um, and then there's like, let's say there's a hard part of the game, and there are going to be hard parts about this game, like, let's just say there was a part where, you know, there was a mandatory battle, like in part 2, meaning the second part of this game, like a mandatory tag duel, and it was like really hard, you know, against two opponents. And if a lot of people find that to be difficult, what would then happen is that people would then end up actually searching that. Uh, they would be like, oh god damn it. You stupid ass. They would basically be like, um, oh, like, the beginning of Destiny, how to be so-and-so. And then YouTube search results would come up. And people would watch that. But they wouldn't watch a whole Let's Play of now we're up to 17 videos of 35 minutes each. Some people would, like, obviously all of you watching this, and I appreciate that, you know, very much. Uh, but I also understand that not everybody watches every single second of every single video, or not even every single video in general. Um... I can't have a battle piece though, but I can't even attack. Uh, oh, I should have said Dust Wind. What am I doing? Dude. Eh, whatever. It's all good. I got combo. What What are you doing? What the hell? Okay, you know what? Um, We're doing... We're doing Mobius. I guess I should really should have said Dust Tornado. But yeah, I guess that's enough of, like information about the whole views thing with YouTube, you know? Uh, we're gonna destroy this. And I'm actually gonna leave your Umiruka because I'm a water, so like, whatever. You are the biggest idiot ever. Anybody with a brain would have obviously chained that MST to target my back row. But he didn't do it. For whatever reason. Um, we're gonna do this, and if you have you Stormy, that's fine. That'll be a 3 for 3. So, who cares? I'm not gonna be too upset if you have you Storm. And you did. Yeah, whatever. Um, wait, wait. Let, let's chain something. Let's chain... Dust Tornado. Hell yeah. I wanted to destroy your face down. <laughs> Which would have been destroyed anyway. No, definitely not. Because if, if you if you set that with Dust Tornado, it, the newly set will be destroyed. Because it, revol it resolves in a chain, in order. Gotta be very careful about that. Who the heck just... Oh, I got a, I got an email from Panda Express. Does anybody like Panda Express? I like Panda Express a lot, actually. Dude, I, lo I love their orange chicken. Oh my god. Their orange chicken is so good. The Xiaomin is actually only okay, in my opinion. Tadpole! 
Yeah, the, the, the shaman is okay. I mean, and the rice, I mean, it's rice. What the hell? Fried rice, white rice, whatever, you know, it's it's whatever. Um, and I also like their uh, broccoli beef. A lot of people like their honey walnut shrimp. But, like, I'm not a big fan of shrimp. I never have been a big fan of shrimp, to be honest. I don't know why. I'm just not. Okay, um, what are your monsters? What have your monsters been? You've literally only played a tadpole. Are you kidding me? What? Toad Master? I mean, this guy has a pretty decent spell and trap lineup, but his monsters have been pure garbage. He's literally only played a tadpole and a Toad Master. This guy has a shitty frog deck. Toad Master's not even a frog card, but I guess you can say in theme it's a frog card, a toad. I don't know. It's strange. Okay, so this should actually be game right here if I just attack with Mobius. In case it's a 2000 beater. You're a 2000 defender, my bad. Look at this guy's vanillas. Dude, you're supposed to be an obelisk blue and you're literally playing... What is that? Gruesome Goo? I think it's called Gruesome Goo. Yeah, Gruesome Goo. And Toadmaster over here. Like, my god. This guy feels like a... Early game Sly for Red Duels with his monsters. Oh my god, I just got another email from Panda. Why are they- why did they just send two marketing emails within one minute of each other? Freaking Panda. You know what I always find so interesting? In Panda Express, almost every Panda you go to, like, they're partnered up with, like, charities, uh, and they always ask you if you want to donate. You know, like, like, round up to the nearest dollar or something. Brown. The hell? What are you playing, Earth? An Earth deck? But yeah, they always ask you for that. And then, you know, if you if you say yes, then they always ring the little bell next to them, and then all the workers say thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I find that so cute. It's just funny. <laughs> like, like, do you want to do it? I'm just going to say yes. And they're like, dun dun, thank you. <laughs> Everybody just says that. Oh my god. That's so freaking funny to me. But yeah, I donate, you know, I mean, because like, what the hell am I going to do with 30 cents? You know, I might as well just give it to them round up. Jeez, 30 cents? Okay, Mystic Tomato. Okay, so you actually have a dark deck. Um, this is a little awkward actually, because I don't have a beater. I can spin you, but that doesn't really do anything. Mm. I will confiscation you though. And, ooh, Dragon Seeker, and all of a sudden destroy one face of Dragon, that's fine. Well, there's another face of Fiendmont monster on your side of field, negate the effect of flip effect monsters. Another, that's not a Fiend, right? No, it's not, so that, that, that's technically fine. Select a Fiend type monster on your, on your, oh my god, from your graveyard, remove it, remove from play, oh my god, I can't read. Select one Fiend type monster from your graveyard. Remove from play monsters on your side of the field whose total levels Exactly equal the level of the selected. Oh, that the special summon. What the freaking hell? Why does that. Okay, whatever. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard to equip this card. Increase the attack of the equipped monster by 500 points. Oh, shoot. If a monster equipped with this card destroys monsters. Oh, no. oh, crap. I gotta get rid of this, I think. Um, I may just have the Cyber Jar to be honest. Yeah, we'll just do that. Sure. Okay, so you have a Dragon Seeker, a Twin Headed thing, and a freaking. Yeah, that's fine. That'll destroy both. And you don't control another Fiend, so we're fine. That's gonna blow up two. Alright, so you get to go first. See, this is the problem with this game though. With When it comes to Cyber Jar, I can't actually see what you're putting into your hand. Um. It's so fast, and I just, I can't see the identity of the card, so I have no idea. Oh my god. Like, I don't know what the hell you just drew. Um. I mean. I guess I can. Here, let's do not. That one. Wall of Illusion, okay. We're just gonna normal summon a Sangan and attack.
Here we go. Will this work? Dark Mirror Force. Okay, I, I didn't even... What the freaking hell, dude? I can't believe Dark Mirror Force actually... In this situation, Dark Mirror Force was actually better than Mirror Force. Because if he Mirror Forced me, I would have just been destroyed and I can get a monster. What the hell, dude? Okay, I'm just gonna set... I think two is fine. And then we'll end a turn. Soul Demolition. Um... Spiritualism. I can't change to that. To spiritualism. That was a complete just stupid move on your part. Um, just bounced it, and you just went minus one. You can only activate this card's effect when you have a fiend type monster. So feel pay five hundred life points to use this effect. Both players select one monster card from the opponent's graveyard. Remove the selected cards from play. Um, I guess that's fine. I don't really care about it. Uh, we are going to summon Mobius. Yes. Activate the effect. I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep your other card there because, like, who cares? Did it work? It worked. Then Sangan happens. Uh, we will take... We'll take an Exile Force, sure. What did I blow up? Hidden Soldiers. And then, uh, Bark of Dark Ruler. Okay. Uh, we are going to enter the battle phase and swing in for 24. That worked. Uh, main phase 2. I will... I have a Karma Cut, so I will just set another Bottomless, and I think we're fine. Hmm. Okay, so you... Oh man, he might actually have a TT. It's very possible. Gotta try it. Nope! Alright, let's see what happens here. 18 worked, and 24. That also worked. Well, we'll just end the turn. Mystic Plasma Zone. I don't have a problem with that. Wow, okay, this guy just... Why do these guys kind of suck? These Attribute Duelists are just like breaking a lot. Maybe that's just how bad their deck is. I don't know. The Water Guy was really bad because he was playing Vanillas that were garbage. Okay, well that's four. Quite strong. Thank you, thank you. Next. Oh my god, we might actually be able to duel all of these guys. I'm Rock. Oh, I, I was supposed to talk to him first. Okay, so you're the one that actually has the, um, the Earth deck. So I guess the last guy's Fire, because we did Water, Wind, Light, Dark. Yes, yeah, so now we have Earth, and then Fire is going to be the other guy. Alright, who's going first? Alright, I'm going first. Rufian Realm. Well, let's see here. That is not bad at all. Uh, we are going to set this man eater bug. We're going to set one. Normal T set and turn. Hyper Hammerhead. Um, do I dare use the bottomless for that? I mean, there could be better targets later on, or I could also just man or bug you. We'll just do it. We'll do this. Are you so- I'm done! I- I am done! I just- I don't even know what to say to this. Sorry if I'm more distant now, I actually am leaning on my chair back now, because I am just so shocked. This mofo, and yes, I'm actually saying it this time, actually played... Possibly the worst card ever printed. 
All right, let me just read this card to all of you. Return two cards from your hand to your deck, then shuffle your deck. Are you kidding me? This is like the worst card ever printed. Either this one or painful, uh, what's it called? Uh, no, 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 sorry, not painful. Uh, the Humble Sentry, that's right. Look up the Humble Sentry, and then look at this one. Tell me which one's worse, but, um, oh my god. I can't believe this guy did, why? Why did Konami think about even putting that card in this guy's deck? On any deck? What the hell? I am so confused right now, like in so many ways. He just went minus three. He literally just went minus three. By himself. Dark Zebra. Okay, whatever. I seriously can't believe this. Like, I seriously cannot believe this. Just how crazy. Like, you know, and, and then their, their stupid AI is also programmed so bad. Like, okay, even if Konami gave him that card in his deck, you would think that he as a smart player would be like, okay, I just won't play the card. But no, this guy has the audacity to activate the card and resolve it. Like, seriously, like, if, if I was doing some kind of challenge thing, you know, and like, okay, win with this deck. Sure, I'll look at the deck, and if I draw, I'm like, well, it's a terrible card. I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play the card. I'll find a way to maybe use it for discarding fodder or something, you know? <laughs> what the heck? The Dream Clown. I seriously can't believe this. Okay. Dark Horror. There should be game right there. We're going to discard this thing. Banish. And that should be game. Probably. Probably. Unless he has like a call to Haunted or something. I don't know. Alright. Well, because a lot of these people have actually been literally stupid, um, I can actually duel all six of them in one episode, because we're only at 27 minutes. So, like, we still have time. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Talk. This is da Dante. Any of you ever played Dante's Inferno? I didn't. I definitely was like, I knew a lot of people that like were so into that game for whatever reason. Like at the time when it came out, so many of my friends, but I never actually played it. But apparently people said it was an interesting experience. Hmm. Also, this, this, is, this is gonna be crazy, but like, what if, hear me out, so this, this game came out in what, 07 or 08, before Dante, you know, from the Burning Abyss came out? What if this guy actually became Dante? Like, this guy turned into a monster, into an XZ's monster. Whoa, that's crazy. That's just a theory, a game theory. Alright, uh, we're gonna just set this and... Should I set both? Sure. Yeah, I don't want to attack. I thought about not attacking this time. Because I want to see what you actually do. Oh my god. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll just attack. I, I don't even know if I should be dust tornado anything at you because, like, what the hell? Okay, we're gonna summon Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. That actually worked. I can't believe it. There's a 0% chance this attack actually connects. Right? Are you serious? Well, the 0% just worked. Can't believe it. What is wrong with these people? Dude, these people have some of the worst decks ever. Seriously, out of these six duelists, like, almost every single one, I think only one person actually posted to be a challenge. The other five have sucked. Either kind of sucked or completely sucked. This is so weird. These are all Obelisk Blue students, and they are terrible duelists. Like, their cards suck so much. They're, okay, I'm gonna set this too just in case. Oh my god. Seriously? You're just gonna give me the game like that? I don't know who's worse. The guy I just dueled who literally activated Pot of Generosity and went minus three. 
or this guy who literally did not even reveal one card to us will have no idea what his deck is about. This guy has nine cards on his side and he did not even reveal a single card face up so I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Seriously, who was worse? Take a vote in the comments. Is it Dante or is it, what's his name, Rock? The guy that lost in three of my turns who didn't reveal a single card and who didn't play a single monster either face, face up or face down? Who didn't activate a single spell or trap card? Or Rock who, play, who made the dumbest play in all of history and activated Pot of Generosity. Take your votes now. Okay, it's now 23 o'clock, which is 11 p.m. Uh, because I just made a bunch of time pass. Yeah, I mean, you can just zone out, zone back in, or you can just go to your bed and fast forward time either way. Uh, because apparently Jinzo only appears here after 23 o'clock. There he is. The legendary Jinzo. Oh, man. Who are you? You can see me? My name is Jinzo. I guess you're not like the other humans. I'm looking for a victim to restore my power. Let's duel you. Yeah, I want to duel this guy once. Because um, I know a lot of you are going to want to see me duel this guy. So, fun fact here, and I got this from a comment. Apparently, once you beat the game once, and you know, you play it again, you can actually have Jinzo be your friend, like your partner, for parts 2 and part 3, if you pay him 60,000 DP. That's so random. Like, what the heck? But apparently so. I mean, I'll have to look at that too in like the walkthroughs and what the heck. I just think it's so random. Yeah, there's definitely some like weird um, partners you can have. You can also have Dark Magician Girl, who's like behind a waterfall after you beat the game once, give her a golden egg sandwich and like she'll be your partner in the second playthrough. Strange stuff for sure. Okay, we're just gonna normal summon and see what I can actually do here. We're going to enter the battle phase, try to just uh, swing an attack in there, and that worked. What is that? What the hell? Cyber Jar already? Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness attack mode. Oh my god, another one? This is not good. I don't think I should, maybe should have set that. <laughs> Mobius. Malice Doll. I don't know what any of these things are. Again, I can't see. I can't see. Um... What does a Malice Doll do? I think it has to do with like... I think if it gets destroyed or something by like a continuous spell, it can come back or something? I, I know it synergizes with um... What the hell is the name? Uh, Ectoplasmer. So I think this guy actually runs Ectoplasmer. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna activate Knock. I'm gonna actually have to protect my Cyber Yard. I feel like I shouldn't have done that, but... Okay, let me see what this does. If this card is sent for the field, but you, yeah, okay, it is that. You special summon it if it's sent by a continuous spell, like Ectoplasma, for example. Um, okay, then we're gonna set this. We're gonna end the turn. The Cyber Jar going off is gonna... That works too, whatever. Oh, Jesus, okay. Um, I don't really care about this. It can be normal summon or set without tributing, in that case you uh, put it in half, actually. That's also interesting, but I don't really care about that. I mean... Yeah, no, like, I, I really don't, though. Like, I really don't. Um, that's fine. I do have to be careful, though. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um... I mean, we can set the Nightmare Penguin, I suppose. Okay, so it's only during your end phase, right? During each player's end phase, the turn player. Yes, okay. So I gotta make sure about that. We're gonna set this. We're gonna end the turn. So you only have to tribute a face up. So if you set, you can actually bypass that. Um, that's fine. Um... I mean, I guess I, I can technically keep that in there. I take less burn. I don't really care about that. I don't think I should actually bounce that, because... Oh, crap. There's not really a point in doing it, though. You know what? Let's just do it. It's fine. Swords? Well, that's... annoying. I was gonna just bring out my Mobius, but you are a complete dick over here. Oh my god, I got another Mobius? Oh, hell yeah. I know what I'm doing. Double Mobius. Man, I'm just glad I have some good backward removal now, seriously. Okay, we're gonna get rid of swords 
and ectoplasmer. Hopefully your other back rows are not a problem though. I, I really hope so. Okay, we're gonna enter the battle phase and swing in for 24. Will this work? Oh my god, oh my god. Is it gonna work? It worked. Awesome, and I don't have to tribute the Mobius. This is amazing. This is so amazing. Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. I mean... I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'll take a lot of damage if I don't do anything. Um, so... I guess I can Phoenix Queen Windblast a stupid Snatch Steel. Even then, though, you're gonna use it again next turn. And that's gonna cause some problems. Shit. Um... Yeah, I'm not actually sure, but I think I can just go ahead and get away with doing the setting. If I feed this Wind Blast to freaking Mobius, it does get rid of your Snatch Steel, but then I don't have a monster, so I can use for Tribute Summoning again. Some of you are, are... Oh, man. Some of you are probably gonna yell at me for this, but I feel like I have to do it. Well, what I can also do... Um, with Night Assailant... When this card is sent from directly from your hand to the graveyard, return one of the comes from your graveyard to your hand. I can technically do this. Here, I'm gonna spin this card. I'm actually gonna spin it. And, okay, Night of Sling goes off. I'll get to add my Cyber Jar back into my hand just in case I need it. And now you can't attack. Okay. I got a Karma Cut. That's actually perfect. Um, so in that case, I don't really think I need to actually go too crazy here. Um... Because if I tribute it again, I could pop that and attack you, but it's not really going to do anything, to be honest. Um, I think I'm better off if I just attack. I could also fissure it. The thing is, I just have a lot of cards, and I feel pretty comfortable with this. So, we're just going to swing in there. For a thousand. We're not going to go too crazy, because I'd rather keep these cards for some card advantage. We're also going to set a man eater bug. And now we're going to set a Karma Cut. And then end the turn. There's a Snatch Deal again, as I figured. I want to see what you do, though. Um, okay, so... I could let it go through Man Eater Bug, or I could Karma Cut. If I Man Eater Bug, it just blows up, and... I Karma Cut. I'm going to use Karma Cut. Because I, I have a suspicion that you might actually set... Uh, we're gonna discard... You know what? We're discarding the Cyber that we just got back. Okay, I want you to set a monster. Yes! We set a monster! This is actually perfect! This is actually perfect! Oh my god, it's so perfect. Because now we can flip the Man-Eater bug. Destroy the monster that you just set, whatever that is. DD Trainer. Then I can tribute summon for another Mobius, and then swing for 24 by popping your back row too. I think that's actually what I'm going to have to do here. I know it's only a 1, so I'm not getting the best value out of Mobius, but I think it's fine to do that. Okay, let's see what that is. That was not really going to work unless you actually had a way to know what something... I mean, well actually, you could have used it when I added the Cyber Jar back into my hand because you knew I had a Cyber Jar. But I guess the AI is pretty dumb and it doesn't actually know that. Um, okay, end of turn. I can't do anything else. Okay, just please don't use any BS. Okay, put another back row. That could be a bit of a pro- Ooh! I win, I win, I win, I win. Because I have both giant trunade and back to square one. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna discard this. Spin that. Enter battle phase and that's game. Alright, that was an interesting duel, but I'm going to end the video here for sure, because I'm up there in time. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.